Hello pretty people and welcome back to the channel. Poor audio quality is both one of the most annoying and easy to fix issues when you're either on a call or a video call. But in 50% of the cases, poor audio quality isn't something you experience, it's something the other person notices. So if you've been told that your audio quality isn't that good, or if you experience this in your next video meeting, this video is for you. So let's find out how the standard, the Apple AirPods Pro 2, stack up to the competition and see who comes out a winner. I've tested the three most popular scenarios, the home office, the office and the office sound you find there, and calling on the go. So let's start with the home office. For your silent home office, the best option is a dedicated external microphone. Some webcams might have it built in, but please don't use them. If you work from home and from your home office a lot, an external mic like this Rode is probably the best option you have. The Dutch Tech Blog also rated this one one of the best ones you can find. You can combine the Rode with the speakers from your microphone because the microphone is directional. Having such a setup looks a lot friendlier on camera than you wearing some buds. I usually do plug in wired earbuds into the Rode. The Rode has a nice feature where you can hear your own voice back via your earbuds, making you talk softer. I'm also often more concentrated when I do so. Where the Rode microphone is great for the home office, I don't want to drag this setup into the office and it's also an expensive solution. So let's look at some office alternatives. In the office, I always try to find a quiet place for my calls and I need something that is portable and filters away the office noises. If you're an Apple user, the second gen AirPods Pro are a great option, but at 300 euros, they better be great. There's a lot of great options that don't force you to break the bank and Skabir is a great resource if you are looking for great value for a budget. If you want to look for earbuds with ANC, which stands for Environmental Noise Cancellation, you'll find the right tools for the job. Earfun and Soundcore are both popular brands in the Bluetooth earbuds area and both offer really nice sub 100 euro solutions. I tested the Soundcore Live P3 and I tested the Free Pro 2 from Earfun. And I also ordered four pairs of wired earbuds, two with jack plugs, one with USB-C and one with a lightning connector. After testing all of them in the office, the Soundcore is actually the best Bluetooth solution, but surprisingly, they were outperformed by these very cheap USB-C buds. One pro tip, it's good to disable active noise cancellation when you're on a call. If you can hear your own voice, you'll talk way less loud, for which your colleagues will be very thankful. You can't cycle between noise cancellation functions while you're on a call on the Soundcore, so that's something to keep in mind. So, with office testing done, it's time to go outside and see how these buds handle wind. Calling while you're on the go is great, especially if it's a one-on-one. -on -one. I often take a walk for deeper conversations. If physically walking together is not an option, then talking and walking alone together is the next best thing. Research even shows it's better for the depth of the conversation. That's because you are listening better than when you're on a video call and because of that you connect on a deeper level. Out of all these earbuds tested, the Soundcore are the best Bluetooth solution for calling at home, in the office and on the go. They will sound a little tinny in a silent environment, but they will perform very well in the office environment and great in windy conditions. With a very decent price of 60 euros, they are very lightweight earbuds for on the go. But for half the price, you'll find the Ulix Rider 30, which are actually a better solution. They perform better in a silent environment, sounding way more neutral, and they are a little worse than the Soundcore in an office environment, but they still have very solid performance. They perform great when you go outside and they outperform the Soundcore there. There might be two questions that still remain on your mind. The first being, how do these earbuds actually sound? And I'll dive deeper into that in the weblog I've written about the buds, which also includes all the sample files and all the test results. The results are very surprising because the sound quality winner is actually one of the cheapest buds I've tested and we haven't talked about them yet. 
The second question is, how do these earbuds stack up to Apple's AirPods Pro 2? Well, both the Ulix Rider and the Soundcore perform better, especially when it comes to ENC, environmental noise cancellation and office sounds. And it's nice to know that you can find a great solution for hands-free calling for only 30 euros. But knowing that any solution is better than the built-in microphone of your laptop is the biggest thing you should take away from this video. Thank you Voice for making these videos possible. Thank you all for watching these videos and I would love to see you in the next one. Cheers!